Hi, welcome back to the channel. So something I haven't reviewed for ages is a radio transmitter. So obviously people that have been watching the channel from years ago know that I was doing drones. And then I stopped doing drones, I got completely fed up with the hobby and then moved out of it. Well I've got back into it recently in a different way. So I just want to quickly review this. So I had another radio, I had I still kept my, my jumper T80, but it got a fault where the screen was flickering and whatnot. So I decided not to trust it anymore and I bought this. This is a Radio Master Boxer. This thing's been out on review loads of times. The reason I wanted to review it is I think this is things absolutely incredible value for money. This cost me £99 and I'll explain why it cost me £99. So you can get three different ones. This is a C5200 chip I believe and then you can get the 4-in-1 chip and then you can obviously get the ELRS chip. I, since I've come back to the hobby, I've, I've now moved to ELRS, but I have one older drone which runs on FR Sky. So this is perfect for it. So I didn't need to buy a 4-in-1 and I didn't need to buy ELRS because I already had this. This is the Emax uh, adapter that goes in the back of here. This is the one I had in the jumper and it really is a fantastic piece of kit. I'll just turn the transmitter on. Go on to the one where the lights hit up. And because virtually all my models are the same, because now I just fly uh, virtually everything the same, I can just have two models set up on here. So I have one for FR Sky and one for ELRS. So this is the Emax unit. It's absolutely incredible. As you can see, I've got this set to 500 milliwatt. It does go up to one watt. But obviously it starts to hammer your battery when it's at 1 watt. 500 milliwatts is absolutely fine for me. You can hear a bit of a hum. The hum's coming from this. It's got a little fan in there. And it is a little bit noisy, but it really bothers me when I'm flying. So this thing to me is just fantastic. I'm just going to swap models actually so I don't have the noise in the background. Let's not delete the model, eh? So this to me is absolutely incredible. It, it's tight, it's small, but it's not too small. It's got a nice bit of weight, but it's not too heavy. Uh, the antenna is really nice on the top. It's a little small stubby antenna. And then I like the fact it doesn't have a proper strap handle. It comes with this piece of cloth, if you like. I don't know what the word is, it's like a ropey type thing. And then obviously it's bolted into the back of here. Inside this set is absolutely beautifully finished off. That everything's wires have properly been put to one side, they're in proper holders when there's nothing just lying there hot glued together. It really is nice. I always have to take it in bits to swap it because if you know I fly mode one. And really is a fantastic and it also comes with Edge TX rather than back in the day, of course. I did change, I think one of my last videos ever done quads was that I changed to um, that from OpenTX. So as you can see on the back, it has a holder. I just you can fit a nice two S in here. I'm just running this because it's what I had in the jumper. But you can have a nice two S transmitter battery, which will give you a good bit of charge. It charges off a cable. It's got USB C charging for your batteries. The stick, these sticks don't come on. And this is what I would say, the sticks that came on it were pretty poor. I think the ones that came on it were just a single piece one. Uh, these are FR Sky sticks that I had for a long time ago. I think I had this on, these on my limited edition Tyrannis and I took them off. The switches are nice, the positive. These little, the idents are really nice where these things lock into the centre. You have push buttons on the top, uh, a full time push button and then a moment of it. And then the scroll wheel just the same. You can have your six functions on here, obviously. There's loads of videos on this. Absolutely loads of videos out there on this because it's a very popular piece of kit, I believe, at the minute. Like I say, £99, you can't really go wrong. If you're just getting into the hobby and you're looking for a transmitter, I don't think you can really beat this. It's like it'd be 129 to get you the ELRS version, which I highly recommend for two reasons. The ELRS is the thing that everybody goes to because it's giving you longer range and everything but the fact is you've no binding issues it's so simple to set up and bind you've no messing around it really is that easy you just do everything on your pc or on here 
it is fantastic and of, and of course you get the advantage of the fantastic range on here it's got some rubber grips that clip in place that's hit them off to do it obviously uh, on the top of the here you've got usb which this allows you to read and write to your sd card and then you have a dsc cable i believe that's for your trainer and this is your headphone port up on the top and like i say at the back i have this it comes it comes in a really nice little case that's just a bit bigger than this just makes it too big to fit in my backpack but that's what i'm using and yeah i can't really highly recommend this enough uh like i say so i've been a long way out of the hobby a long time out of the hobby and when I came back into it, two things shocked me. One, the thing, the way things had changed so much, and B, how much everything was. Everything's gone up in price, ridiculous amount of money. Um, everything's changed from what it was when I was doing it. Because when I was doing it, it was DJI Digital, which I do still love, but they've now moved on to DJI 03. So I bought some DJI One goggles, and they were fine, they work with the old one, but to work with the new one, I've got, I bought the DJI FPV quad, second hand, I got one dirt cheap, second hand, with three batteries and the V2 transmitter, which means I can fly or three, I think I picked up 500 quid with three batteries, I'll charge and everything. Uh, and it's far more fun flying that around than flying the DJI Mini or something like that around. You can have a bit of fun with it and get good crisp results. So I have three drones at the minute. I'm gonna do a video on them. Um, and I've also got a video to do on these new thumb type, type cameras. So I've got two of them and I'm going to do a video on them re uh, next week, maybe comparing both. Um, there's a little bit of a spoiler. I don't really rate any of them and I don't think you should buy any of them. I'll be honest with you. I'm be up that front because you see videos on YouTube and I really don't know how they've managed to get the results they have. You'll see when my videos put up, it'll be it's just raw it's going to be straight out of the software you're going to get the video and i'll show you what they look like but i don't think either of them are fantastic they're very low they're not very good because the sensors are so small and i think that's the biggest thing it is great but like i say we'll have that video coming up soon just wanted to do this and tell you that i'm back and doing fpv i'm also got some um content coming up um, sim racing content because I'm still doing that a lot. I'm still heavily involved in sim racing. I've got another two wheels to review and oh, I've got quite a bit of stuff to catch up on. But anyway, there's a lot of bit more videos coming. I'm not going to say they're going to be every week because it's a bit, with what I'm doing at the minute, time's a bit constrained. So I have, I have to fit in around them. But thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and hope everybody's keeping well. Bye bye.